chucks off the grid world. I'm going to show you a, a project I got going on. It's actually in that compartment there, but I'm going to show you inside here. Uh, this, uh, I put in some heating pads on my uh, lithium batteries. Uh, this is the inside temperature in the RV right now. This is the temperature of the compartment that the batteries are at. So I, I want to keep this above 32 degrees because what I understand is the lithium batteries, the ones I purchased anyway, don't have heaters in them and they don't have a way to shut down the the uh, input and you should you should never let them get below freezing which is uh, 32 degrees Fahrenheit or uh, zero Celsius um, so I got these two heating pads I'll show you here in a second but last night it got down to 25 degrees and so these heating pads apparently must be working because it's still 35 in, in the compartment I will uh, take you out out here and show you the compartment and the batteries how I got this set up okay underneath here is a battery compartment okay you can't really see the batteries right now because I've got this plywood panel on top of them and a styrofoam underneath there and I got this water bottle here that's just to see if it's cold enough to freeze, this water this water would be frozen. That's just a, a way to tell, a simple way to tell if something's going on. But let me pull this plywood panel off here. Then my styrofoam make believe battery box out of styrofoam. Okay, there's the sending unit right there. There's one of the heating pads. The other heating pad is buried in between there you can't see it I can't even see it but uh, and so let's just look at we're gonna take this thing here which is a sensor thermometer sensor and see what it says right there uh, it says it's right at 40 degrees right there um, that is 41 degrees now I've never felt these while they were warm but apparently they must be working or uh, this battery compartment wouldn't be as staying as warm as it has been. Now, what I'm gonna do, I've got these wired, this one's wired into this battery right here. This one here, you can see the very top of it right there is also wired in the same battery. So I got both of them wired directly into this one 200 amp hour lithium batteries. I thought about putting a, a switch on it to shut it off, but uh, they have a thermostat built into them. They only kick on when they get to a certain temperature. Now, I don't know what that temperature is. Like I said, I've never felt them when they were warm. But I did put a few inline fuse right here, and if I want to shut it down, I just pull the fuse out. But uh, that safety fuse and also way to shut it off. But uh, what I want to do with this, just to make sure that when it gets really, really cold, we don't have a problem with it charging. Uh, you know, like I say, what I understand is the lithium batteries, it's not a problem with them operating below freezing. There's not a problem with them being uh, setting below freezing. Well, the problem comes when you try to charge them below freezing. Well then, right here is a fuse. This, this water leads up into my solar panels up on a roof, which I uh, have 600 watts. I can just hit this switch here and shut it off. So there's no charge coming in at that point. But I want to make sure that I don't charge them below freezing. And that's why I've got this unit right here, which is connected with that on the wall there, so I can sit there and watch it and see what it's doing. But I'm got another project going on with this to make sure we're not going to freeze I'll show you here in a second uh, let me get up. okay 
Got it inside here. It's actually, this is the box that come in. We're not, the RV's in the backyard right now. We're not really doing anything with it. It's just sitting here. But this is what I bought for it. Uh, it's a little heating pad. This little heating pad. Apparently it pulls about uh, 80 watts, but it gets really nice and warm, and I will lay it on top of that. Let me show you what the panels. I've got it right here, the heating pad. That's what it looks like. Okay, this is the heating pad right here. And uh, it's, I think it's about, I don't know, 24 inches long by 12 inches wide or something like that. It's supposed to be about 70 to 80 watts is all it pulls. It has a controller right here. It's three different settings. I've got it plugged into my, into my uh, watt meter. Uh, Plug it, turn it on. Okay, that's on low. That's on medium. That's on high. And we're gonna see what the wattage, what kind of wattage it pulls. Get the camera adjusted here. Hit the watts. Okay, it's pulling 95, 97 watts, 96. Um, it'll probably go down from there. It's already starting to warm up. But my idea is, is to take 91, 92, 94. Let me put it on low and see what it does. Okay, brothers and sisters, I've got the, the heating pad inside this pillowcase laid on top of the battery case. And I got plugged in to, to electrical source, 120 volts off the solar. Then I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, these star phones back on top. Not the most secure, best way to do it, but it kind of works. Now I'm going to put this plywood back up on it. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. There's Nico, the bodyguard. Check her out. <laughs> it's about an hour and a half later, and now the temperature inside the box is up to 45 degrees. It's 55 degrees in here. We had the heater going. Let's go outside and, and see what it says out there. Okay, I got the lid off the battery box. Uh, this is the heating pad on there. It's very, very warm. Let's we'll see what it feels, what the temperature says. It says it's 84. Right there, here's the sending unit. It says it's 47 degrees. The battery itself says it's 49 degrees. So, even though this is really warm under there, it, I guess it apparently it takes a long time to heat those batteries up, but uh, it is working. It's actually still on. It's supposed to run for about 90 minutes before it automatically shuts off. I'm just going to wait and see if it automatically shuts off, but uh, that should help a lot on keeping the batteries warm or warming them up at least so I can charge them. You know, kind of babysit these things now. They're supposed to be so much better, but uh, you still got to babysit. It's always, there's always a trade off. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to come back and see if this thing shuts down on its own
and uh, see how long this thing actually is on and see if it goes off after about 90.